I don't know what I was waiting for. <laughs> I'm just scared. <laughs> I think I was waiting for someone else to show up. How long did I just sit there and stare? I don't even know. Can I start over? Hi. <laughs> oh, friggin' idiot. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Don't go back and watch this from the start. <laughs> I should be fired. I am such an idiot. That's why I work better alone. So, I said I was going to start this off with a shot. Which, when everybody comes back... <laughs> okay, so what happened was, I turned this on and I don't know what... I was doing but I just like I sat here and just stared <laughs> like at my phone I was waiting for me to talk back to me I was waiting for someone else to join me in the picture no idea but I did just sit there and stare how I've never actually poured into a shot glass how far up into a shot glass are you supposed to <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> can I pour it can I pour it back I need a funnel. I have not had any of this yet. Although it may seem different. Okay, so I feel like this may be a mistake. It seems like I don't need it. I don't know. I'm... <sighs> Good morning. It's my first day at work. Can you tell? I'm like, I'm, I'm like clearly a little rattled. Even though, like I said, nothing changes. Like, there's no light switch. There's no grand opening. There's no bells and whistles. Like, as far as I know, there's no... My husband's not going to come <laughs> shooting off confetti behind me or nobody's jumping out of the closet, like, behind me or anything. Like, it's just... This is it. This is work now. Like, the only difference is between before and after is now money's involved like I'm before was I, I was just on the internet and now I'm on the internet more and and I, it's gonna be like like exponentially more and and you know trumpets in town somebody should have hired me Mark Campbell and a greetogram the day's not over the day's not over friends it could happen Tanya I'm counting on you because I think Tanya either you've hired Mark for a greetogram or you've mm, Tanya when we worked together at the river did your mom hire Mark to come sing to you at work I feel like Mark came and sang at the river at one point anyway it needs to be done. No, I would, I would not make a good greet a grammar. Yeah, I knew Mark came and sang to you at the station. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to Mark. Okay, so anyway. Um, it's really weird for me to drink hot coffee. Typically, I make a coffee and then forget about it for a really, really long time. Come back to it an hour and a half later. Pound it back cold really, really fast. Then make it again later same thing how do i those of you who have had kids make them better at drop off especially my son huge attachment issues not making that the entire focus of our coffee chat today don't want to do that i just need somebody to like throw out a couple of ideas that we can try my son has never gotten past this and sometimes the daughter my daughter is hit and miss um but it just like it almost seems to be getting like almost worse um but yeah like he just is it's really hard at drop off and um like yeah just clinging crying um yeah it's really really hard for for drop off it's like it's hard on him it's hard on us it's hard on the teachers can you stop licking if you've got a dog that's a licker, you know how annoying it is. Should I try and do this the whole thing? It's scotch, so like you are not 
supposed to do it like that. I am a dragon for the rest of this because I can breathe fire now. Um, I don't think coffee is the right chaser for this, but especially not coconut <laughs> coffee. <sighs> okay. Uh, so yeah, I still have had a couple, couple people ask, what is my job? My job is I will be the unofficial mayor of Lethbridge. Who is when when Blaine Higgin goes, who who's our who's our backup mayor? Who's who's the one that looks after the city when when Blaine's gone? I'll be third in line. That's me. I'll be like the the one that they don't want to call in, but like in the middle of the night when there's a snowstorm and nobody wants to get out of bed. That's the one that they call. That's me. That's my job. I'm the unofficial ma- My dog just threw up. My dog just barfed. <laughs> Are you joking? Can you hear him? <sighs> if it's not my kids. It's my dog. This is my life. All right. Well, it's just water. I can see it. I'll deal with it later. Okay. Maybe I'll just have another shot and join him. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I'll be the unofficial third rinky dink in line. If there is an actual third in line mayor of Lethbridge, I don't mean any offense to that person. But yes, I will be kind of like an unofficial representative of the city. So, um, yeah. Happy first day. Keep it chaotic. This is this is my life. Um, I'm going to look after the city, but I need help. And so that's, like I've said, where you come in. And like, this is definitely like a partnership between you and I. And we're going to deputy mayor. That's rinky dink mayor, deputy mayor. <laughs> Same shit, different file. <laughs> I'm going to get my kids to make me a badge. Um, yeah, so... A lot of stuff going on year round. Like we talk about street wheelers. We talk about whoop up days. We talk about the air show. We talk about the big ones. But there's always like everything else that goes on. Like the pet adoption fairs. The um, art and craft shows that go on on the weekends. The what else happens? Like every couple of days at least like there's something every weekend for sure there's tons of stuff going on not just in Lethbridge but all the other communities across southern Alberta too so there's no shortage of things to do and I want us to go out to as many of them as possible and that includes not just non-for-profits not just community events I want to know what the businesses are doing too and so I want to kind of keep our fingers not just my fingers, but like our fingers on the pulse of the city. So I want to kind of bring what the radio did to the internet. And I don't want to like flood you and spam you and like, to like just be like a dump of information that you don't want. I want to be fun and I want to be Aaron and I want to bring my puking dog and I want to bring my bottle of scotch and I want to maybe not bring the scotch every day at 930 in the morning because my... I feel like this right here is still a flaming ball of fire, but I am a scotch drinker, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, like I want to do that stuff together. So that is mostly what we are going to be doing. So I mean, like actually earlier this morning, I posted a video that I went and made yesterday, not even my first day of work. If you follow me on Twitter... Everything across social media for me is just at the Aaron Lucas. It always has been, always will be, always will be. So Twitter, at the Aaron Lucas, tweeted yesterday morning, not even my first day of work, already broke a piece of equipment that cost 300 American dollars. The company bought for me, my new boss bought for me. Uh, and I had dog shit on the back of my coat. 
and had to get back in my van and drive home. So great. First day of work. That's not even my first day of work. So I went out yesterday and did a bunch of stuff like pre-work for today because I'm neurotic. Like I'm a planner. I have to always be, I can't just start today. I start, I'm always working. So that, that was my day. So anyway, I posted a video this morning from where I broke that piece of equipment yesterday. How did I do it? Dancing in front of the sound garden, which isn't even open anymore. Realized because it's not even nine in the morning and I'm dancing in the sound garden parking lot. Everybody else who works in that general vicinity, I'm there before nine in the morning. All those people show up at three minutes to nine o'clock and flood that parking lot because it's free parking. So they work at the dollar store. They work at Burton Max. They work at that building that says it's a blast on the side of it. So I'm in my van. I'm out of my van. I'm in a jacket. I'm in a sweatshirt. I'm crawling around on the ground because a piece of my microphone broke off and flew somewhere across the parking lot. That's what broke. I can make it look nice and tidy when I put it in a video <laughs> and put it on the internet. Real life, Aaron, is a GD shit show. So as much of that personality, I want to do these lives with you so we can talk and like we can get like the behind the scenes stuff. So I can tell you that video, while it does look kind of silly when you do see the video itself, the story behind the video is so much, there's so much more to that video because I was crawling around and about 25 people saw me changing my clothes into a pink cat sweatshirt, crawling around on my hands and knees in broken glass and gravel in front of a building that's not even open anymore. Well, who sings that song? One more time, we're gonna celebrate. Well, I'm cranking that <laughs> and dancing around like a fool. That's, that's our Lethbridge. That's what I want us to do. Like, I just want us to have fun and do silly stuff. So, Daft Punk, that's who it is. I wanted to say Daft Punk, but then I wasn't entirely sure if it was like the helmets. Yes, it is Daft Punk. So anyway, that's my life. Okay, so we're going to do fun stuff about what's your favorite restaurant? What is like your, to help me God, how do you get your kids to stop crying at daycare? So everything from my life, my pukey dog, my kids, to your pukey dog, your life, your kids. So we're really going to just, a lot of give and take, a lot of less bridge, wide open book, a lot of this is my job, but I need some help because it's your city too. And it's your Southern Alberta too. It's not just me. And if you remember, I'm not originally from here. I've only lived here 20 two-ish years. Moved here in 2003. So while I've lived here more than anywhere else in my whole... Who just gave me that angry face? I'll find you. Um, you can take that back. You can go and unclick that angry face, but I'll find you. Anyway, so yes, well, I'm, I've lived here longer than anywhere else in my whole entire life. To me, this is home. Well, Saskatchewan is home. This is home. This is where my husband is from. This is where my in-laws are from. This is my home. I have a house here. I have a family here. I've had two jobs here. I've had my career here. This is my home. That angry face made me mad. I hope it was a jokey angry face. So anyway, uh, I'm very passionate about this city. I, um, 
Like, I, when I talk about Lethbridge, <sighs> getting fired really fucked me up. I thought, this is, I thought I was going to have to go to, this is absolutely no slight against this field or anybody who's in this field because this is the, I talked the other day about wanting to be a vet, but this is the only other thing I thought that I was going to do after getting fired because I wanted to do it. I thought I was going to quit or I got fired. I thought I was going to hair, go to hairdressing school because I, I thought that I, cause I can do hair. I can do hair somewhat decently so I thought I thought that that's what I was going to do and because I like to talk and and as you know you go to hairdressers you have fun at your beating Jen <laughs> um as you go to hairdressers I mean you go there and you talk and and to me that is like you it's a, it's a career where you do still talk and you you get to meet people in the community and and stuff like that so I thought it's it's a way to have my voice still <sighs> This, getting this job offer that I have, this platform, this, we're going to do this together, we're all in this, hurrah. <laughs> uh, I, um, I could not be more grateful. Like I said, um, I, this is my home and I don't know it any other way. I don't know it any other way than to be able to talk to you guys through a loudspeaker of some sorts. I don't know how to have a quiet job behind the scenes. You can't quiet me. <laughs> you can keep firing me, but you can't quiet me. <laughs> keep trying. So while I would have loved to have had a, a, a hairdressing job, I actually, um, I really adore doing my daughter's hair. Um, there was a family that I babysat. I don't know if you remember the other day I said I took a year off between um, high school and college and I I babysat the same family through my entire high school career and uh, there was a daughter and a son and the daughter's name was Delaney and doing her hair every single day, I loved it. Like, I would just, it was my favorite thing. Like, I loved doing Delaney's hair every day. And so for my daughter, like, my daughter has such, like, wispy, thin hair. And I just can't wait for it to get uh, a little bit thicker. And, like, I love that it's getting longer because I love doing my daughter's hair. So I do, well, I would have loved to go into that hair field. I, um, I'm super happy that I get to stay in this public kind of, um, stage I don't want to say it's a stage I stage feels too soapboxy grand I don't I don't want to think big like I'm I'm not big I'm small I'm Aaron from Saskatchewan I'm just little help me <laughs> um yeah but yeah this is it first day I feel like that scotch kicked in quick with crying <laughs> it took away the jitters <laughs> Did anyone else have a shot with me? Tanya, you work a computer about as well as I work public speaking. Tanya is one of my first best friends in this city. She is one of those weirdos that can do anything and is like instantly good at it. So if you see Tanya in the comments, she lives in Sterling. I think she's originally from Cardston. She just, she's a good one. But I mean like all of you in here, like I see Krista in here and Krista is from um, like back home in Saskatchewan. And one of my favorite memories of Krista, and I've talked about this in the past, um, like in a story on like way way back um in my personal life one of my favorite stories about Krista and this involves her dad and I'm probably gonna cry um not that there's any tiny children watching but 
This involves Santa. And this is going to take away the mystery of Santa. So if there are any small children in the room, <laughs> remove them. When I was little and my sister was little, I can remember clear as day, Krista and her dad coming over to our house and Krista's dad was dressed as Santa and Krista is the oldest of three sisters and I'm the same age as the youngest sister. So Krista is four years older than me and Krista was dressed as an elf and Krista probably was only like maybe 10 or 11 at the time, maybe like a couple years older. But I just remember it, Roy was Santa, but I wasn't supposed to know Roy was Santa, but Roy was telling us to go to bed because he wasn't going to come back with presents if we didn't go back to bed. And that is one of my most favorite Christmas memories growing up. And I don't even know if Krista knows that. And like, I have so many of these great memories and stories and like, Things just like, I don't know if I ever got to talk to them about, like with anybody. Stories like this that I never got to tell on the radio. And I would just love to like sit here and bullshit about stuff like this. Like, this is why I'm in therapy. Like, I just talk constantly. So I have these things that pop up in my head and I just, Krista, you have no idea how much you mean to me and your dad and your family. <sighs> Mom, I don't even like Starbursts. <laughs> but I do know the pink ones are the good ones. <laughs> my mom is like, hands down, my biggest cheerleader. I work best under pressure. And I have been struggling the last two weeks to come up with any idea any idea at all what to talk to you about couldn't come up with anything struggled so hard and yesterday my mom unprompted I woke up and there was like 52 text messages of her just like idea after idea after idea of stuff that I could talk about like she just my mom obviously she's mom my mom gets me and it was just like so <sighs> welcome one of my favorite ideas that my mom came up with and I it was just like this is brilliant what if I talk to all the fun people that I used to work with on the radio station. Like, what if I got, oh my God, I gotta stop reading my mom's comments when she types them because like, I, I gotta stop because like every time I see them, I cry. Um, what if I talk to Mark Campbell? What if I got in touch with Jessica? What if I got in touch with Jordan Karst? Tina Gies Brecht? Oh my God, if you barf again, Cody, can you let the dog outside? Rocky, go outside. Rocky, go outside. Neither of them are moving. I paid a kid to come yesterday and clean up my dog shit. Just like his mom hired him off of Facebook. Uh, the kid that came was a kid that played Knock Knock Ginger on my door this summer. <laughs> he played Knock Knock Ginger during the day. I was sitting on my couch and watched him and his three friends walk up to the door. I, I was like, I couldn't, I can see you. My kids are napping. My dog is barking. They, the, the kid that cleaned up the dog shit, he walked up, heard the dog, 
turn back around. His friend was like, mm -mm, ran back up, rang the doorbell. And I was like, what the hell? Pulled the footage off my security camera. Send it to Cody. I was like, can you believe these kids just did this in the middle of the day? I would have never done that. <laughs> I'm jealous because I can't believe these kids have the gall to do that. So anyway, he showed up yesterday to clean up the dog shit. And I said, hey, I know. Who, do you recognize this house? And he just smiled. And I said, yeah, I know who you are. It's fine that you did that. You and your friends had fun. If you do it again, skip my house. <laughs> And then I paid him money to clean up my dog shit. So anyway, uh, I, I, this is my train of thought. Like I just, I'm either talking in circles or it's in one thought and gone. <sighs> oh yeah, all the fun people I could talk to. What a brilliant idea. So I, yes, I think that it would be, it would be really fun to either get like on FaceTime and and catch up with people that I, you know, worked with in the past or, you know, people that have um, like lived in the community. Um, like I don't really want to um, maybe necessarily talk to people that I don't know. Like I don't, I don't know that I want to connect with somebody that I don't have a, a relationship with. I don't want it to just be like me interviewing a stranger because it's just interviewing a stranger is, is awkward because all you do is you go on Google or you go on Wikipedia and you're like, where are you from? What did you like to do growing up? Who was your best friend? Where do you live now? And then you ask them the same questions that they've been asked 72 times before. So talking to somebody that you've worked with before hits different, right? So I have to think about that. Like, I I mean, I mean, I, I could talk to Christopher Stieg. I could talk to Dar Hetherington. I could talk to... I'd love to talk to Reiko Dodic. I'd love to have Reiko Dodic come to my house or me to go to Reiko Dodic. So I was like, I know Reiko Dodic is on city council right now. And I feel like that would be okay. Only because Reiko Dodic is hot. I have a thing for Reiko Dodic. Uh, who else would be on like a, a talk to hit list? Hmm. Send me ideas. If you have ideas, like a, again, Think Scott McGregor money. Wish list. Nothing's too big. Okay. Yeah. I changed my mind. We'll, we'll make a list of people that we're going to talk to. And if we have to pay the money to talk to them, let's do that. Um, I'm going to start to wrap this up because I feel like half an hour-ish is probably kind of your... I like your coffee, like a coffee break is usually about half an hour. I tried to time it a little bit differently because I know 10 to 10 30, you know, maybe hit some people and some people couldn't do it. So I thought if I did it from 9 30 to 10, maybe I'd hit a different window of people. I know obviously live is different and then you can go back and watch it later, but I wanted to um, try and get it to like that nine o'clock start time ish. But nine o'clock is a little bit too close to when I drop off the kids. So, um, yeah, um, I just, I really wanted to, to share my first day morning with you. Um, yeah, I did talk about Jim, the dog, the other day from the, um, Lethbridge Animal Shelter. I went and visited Jim yesterday. I took him for a walk. We played. He's lost a ton of weight from when I saw him. Not that he was fat. But like, like I didn't think he was fat. He just, he's just like a normal, I like was like, man, you lost weight. So anyway, um, I do have a video that I'm going to post with him a little bit later. Like he's just a rad dog. <sighs> as much as like, I want, th I want that dog. I want that dog so bad. Cody is a tough sell. And like, I know, I know I just got all the dog poop cleaned up. 
But like, yeah, Cody is a tough sell. So, well, well, my heart wants that dog. I also want that dog to go to a good home. Like I want that dog to like not be at the shelter anymore. So when I do post that video, or if you are looking for a dog, know if you just like go cold call into the animal shelter he's not just in the main room he just you have to like specifically ask to go see him or go through like the list of the the dogs and animals for adoption on the Lethbridge animal shelters website um and then you'll see him on there his name is jim such a good dog um but yes i do have a video to post um a good chunk of the video is me driving there so some of my videos are going to be like story time videos. Some of my videos are just going to be me being stupid. Some of my videos are going to be specifically about Lethbridge stuff. Um, some of my videos are going to be 100% what you want. So you have to tell me what you want. What you really, really want. In the words of the Spice Girls. And with that, I'll leave you. Go watch my Soundgarden video because it cost me money, or at least it cost my boss some money. Pretend every time you watch it, it costs 10 cents. So I'm just kidding, it costs no money. <laughs> the internet is free. Okay, I love you guys. We'll schedule one of these in another couple days. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.